Hi everybody. Welcome to Universe View Odyssey channel. Dialogue concerning quantum entanglement. A 2022 Nobel Prize winning achievement in physics. Q1. In the last video, we saw that Aspect's team confirmed the phenomenon of quantum entanglement through experiments. The 2022 Nobel Prize in Physics went back to the researchers of quantum entanglement, the most mysterious and essential characteristic of quantum mechanics. As a review of the contents of the last video, please introduce the research achievements of the 2022 Nobel Prize in Physics. Yes. I would like to introduce you mainly to the official announcement of the Nobel Committee. The winners are Alan Aspect from France, John Klauser from the USA and Anton Zeilinger from Austria. The achievements of the award are, for experiments with entangled photons, establishing the violation of Bell inequalities and pioneering quantum information science. Q2. Alan Aspect is the scientist who appeared in the last video. He was the protagonist of the Aspect Experiment, an experiment that put an end to the EPR debate and confirmed the phenomenon of quantum entanglement, right? The common achievements of the three people are the same, but there must be some differences in detail. Please explain the role of each researcher. If you look at the announcement of the Nobel Committee, Aspect, Klauser, and Zeilinger are in order, but the prize share is the same at one-third each. Of course, the contents of the study are slightly different. It's a bit of a temporal step that can't be ranked. John Clauser developed John Bell's ideas, leading to a practical experiment. When he took the measurements, they supported quantum mechanics by clearly violating a Bell inequality in 1972. This means that quantum mechanics cannot be replaced by a theory that uses hidden variables. Here, the Bell inequality is a mathematical formula that experimentally identifies EPR's thought experiment. By the way, Clauser's experiment had a great significance in that he succeeded in translating John Bell's idea into a physics experiment, but there was some loophole. A loophole refers to a limitation in an experiment. Alan Aspect developed the setup, using it in a way that closed an important loophole. He was able to switch the measurement settings after an entangled pair had left its source, so the setting that existed when they were emitted could not affect the result. This was in 1982, 10 years after the Clauser experiment. Q3. Anton Zeilinger did a slightly different experiment than the two of them, right? That's right. Using refined tools and long series of experiments, Anton Zeilinger started to use entangled quantum states. Among other things, his research group has demonstrated a phenomenon called quantum teleportation in 1998, which makes it possible to move a quantum state from one particle to one at a distance. It's an experiment that uses quantum entanglement to transfer quantum states to other particles far away. Q4. Wow, quantum teleportation, that's awesome. I wonder what meaning the Nobel Committee gives to the research for this physics prize. Professor Hans Hansen, a Nobel Committee member in the field of physics, said this after introducing the winners and their achievements. This work has made clear what quantum mechanics really means. Q5. How about the applicability of their achievements? The Nobel Committee officially announced the meaning of the selection of the physics prize through a press release, and the title was, Entangled States, From Theory to Technology. The gist of the press release is as follows. Alan Aspect, John Clauser and Anton Zeilinger have each conducted groundbreaking experiments using entangled quantum states, where two particles behave like a single unit even when they're separated. Their results have cleared the way for new technology based upon quantum information. Q6. What are the application technologies using the entanglement mentioned here? They are quantum computers, quantum networks, and secure quantum encrypted communication. Anders Erbach, chair of the Nobel Committee for Physics says as follow. It has become increasingly clear that a new kind of quantum technology is emerging. 
we can see that the laureate's work with entangled states is of great importance, even beyond the fundamental questions about the interpretation of quantum mechanics. Q7. I wonder what the honored Nobel laureates think of quantum mechanics and quantum entanglement. Their interview is posted on the Nobel Committee website. Alan Aspect said, The bottom line is, quantum mechanics has withstood all possible attacks. His own experiments seem to have put an end to EPR's attacks. Clauser expressed it ironically, saying, It's been a lot of time wasting, and now it's time to start real physics. Perhaps it is an expression of confidence that entanglement has been established as an applied technology beyond theory. Zeilinger praised quantum mechanics, saying, Quantum mechanics is the most beautiful theory ever developed. Q8. As the author of Universe View Odyssey, a liberal arts science book that deals with quantum entanglement, please tell us your personal feelings about this Nobel Prize in physics. I was shocked by the EPR debate and the aspect experiment. It reminds us of the fact that the universe is much more mysterious than we think. Thanks for watching. You can read this story in Injury Time, injurytime.kr.